And if you thought this fountain had played its last cruel card, then you're wrong, because this is the prone car of Mark Larkham and a desperate team in the pits trying to get him going again. Unbelievable. You cannot believe this. Listen to the starter motor. Well, I'll tell you what, the thing he has in his favour is that there's a safety car out. Now, if he can get this car going, he can get onto the back of the queue, but that doesn't sound too good now. Look, he's just under the start, the finish line, under the bridge, right in front of the pits. Look at Pee Wee Siddle up there. Greg Siddle in the background there, the guy with the headsets on. There is Brad Jones' teammate. Just cannot believe... He's got it going! Hey! He has got it going! Mark Larkham is away! Well, what the... What on earth happened there? Brad Jones can't believe it. Look, he's got tears in his eyes. He's come so close. Well, <laughs> just when it looked like it was all over for the minor 10 Ford. Greg Rust, how about that? Brad Jones is down here in pit lane with me at the moment. Brad, a tide of emotions. Tell me how you feel. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a very emotional person normally, but uh, it's very, very... It takes a lot out of you, a long day like today, and um, to see the car stop and start again is a, is a very difficult thing. We're in what I would have thought was a quite a comfortable second, and, um, and now we're fourth, so uh, you know, Larko's got a lot of work to do, and, and, um, you know, but at least we're still going again, and no, you know, just thank God it went. I can't, can't believe it. I, r I arrived here and there were these pale faces and a deathly silence in the Mitre 10 crew. You could not believe it. And it, it, your heart was literally with him as he, as he tried to kick it over and thankfully it came to life. Well, yeah, I certainly know I was in there. But, um, you know, it's been a long, hard day. That last stint of mine, I was catching Jason and, and I flat spotted a tyre quite badly about five laps from the end and I had to lift off on, uh, on left-handers and, and it was so frustrating that, you know, the gap was just staying the same and... And then, you know, we came in and did the driver change, having a bit of trouble getting fluids through the car. So we've had our own little drama going. And, and then for the car to stop, you know, it's, it's just, you know... What, what happened? Destroying. Oh, well, they, the fuel pump stopped working. So uh, he's got it cranked up again, but, you know, he has got a long way to go. So uh, anyway, we'll see what's happened. We've, uh, we've run in the top three all day, and um, you know, I think that we've got a, a pretty strong package. So let's just see how fast he can carve through a few of these guys. We're riding with you every lap, mate. Thanks very much. Well, there you go. The more he spoke, the better he felt. <laughs> Pretty we emotional, eh? Well, a fuel pump problem there. Let's hope that fuel pump problem doesn't rear its ugly head. 18 laps to go at the restart. We've got a real sprint to the flag here. Mitre 10 on board camera with Mark Larkham as he joins the back of the queue. He's gone back to fourth place in the order. He's some nine seconds behind our race leader, Stephen Richards. We've got his dad, Jim, alongside us in the commentary box. Boy, Jim. <laughs> Pretty nerve-wracking moment, isn't it? Well, this race is never over. Well, Mark Larkham, it's Lee Diffie. Can you hear me, mate? Yeah, is that you, Diff? Yeah, it is, Mark. How about that? Oh, mate, I tell you what, we, uh, we've had some fuel problems all day, hence we've had to make an extra pit stop, which has made it difficult for us, and uh, the circuit breaker just blew on the fuel pump, so uh, I just had to uh, find the, the uh, circuit breaker and reset it. Well, you didn't, at this stage of the race, you hardly needed that, huh? Oh, I tell you, um, yeah, no, we didn't, but anyway, we'll press on and see how we get from here, eh? Go for it, mate, go for it. Will yeah. do, mate. 